Alright guys, they're playing Aurelia top lane today in the newest patch. We're playing Aurelia versus Pantheon top lane and for the runes, we're running Conquer, Triumph, Alacrity, Last End, Biscuits, and also Cosmic Insight. Now this game we're going to have a really good time 1v9. Unfortunately, Lido Tempo did get a change though, but Conquer on Aurelia is definitely uh, the best option right now anyways. I got that question a lot recently, which one is better, Lido Tempo or Conquer even before the change? Well, Irelia always performed better with Conquer, pretty much 90% of the time. And especially now with the uh, recent change that came around, like Lido Tempo is slightly nerfed. So it's even less of an option now. Conquer is always the better version. Anyway, this matchup is very bad. I'll just put it that way. We actually outscaled the matchup extremely hard to the point where once we hit Blade of Throne King, it's basically an instant win. Um, but the early game, I'm specifically referring to the level 1 into level 6, between all these levels. This matchup is basically unplayable. Sort of. You can't outplay him if you get level 2 first, but a good Pantheon player will absolutely not give you level 1 or level 2, so... That's to be expected. We'll try and avoid the main damage. I've also got my D-Shield. I'm not gonna queue that one. I've also got my D-Shield, which is gonna be absolutely great. Thinking of actually going with uh, W here, because I think if he hits the full combo on me, I'm going to need it. Lost a ton of farm, but it's kind of the way how the matchup works. Pantheon is way too aggressive of a matchup. Pantheon players will always look to, uh, to poke you out. We do have a Warwick pathing top, by the way, which is awesome because Pantheon players will be playing aggressive no matter what. Nice, we blocked off an insane large amount of damage. Oh, you should be dead. Yeah, perfect. Very good. Now, all we need to do before actually going for the reset is we need to find out a way to see if we can fully reset the lane. Hmm. I think we can definitely do that. Nice. This will be uh, a bit risky for me. There you go. So, unfortunately, I couldn't reset. No matter what I, no matter how I played it, I had no chance of potentially being able to reset the base because if I leave the lane like that and the wave is like pushing uh, straight up, then he would be freezing the wave, and it would actually make things very bad for me. So. In moments like these, like you gotta try and win the 1v1, especially when the wave is like pushing into your opponent. You have to wave in your favor. You gotta find out a way to reset. But yeah, it's kind of the way how it is. He's got TP advantage. I'm running the game with Ignite. He's running with TP. Teleport has a straight advantage in a lot of cases because even if he makes a mistake, he can uh, teleport back, be full HP, buy items. I can do that. Like I'd still have to like push the wave in. Oh, he did make a large mistake. The Pantheon is not a smart guy right here because he actually uh, left the lane in this position right here where I can just freeze it. This is a mistake that a lot of people tend to make. We'll try and snowball using this. I'll try and save up a little bit of mana to, so I'm not overusing my Q. Nice one. I wish I could all in right here, but I kind of doubt it. I'm just going to ping top once again. We're still in a position where um, it's pretty challenging for me to beat him. Although we have more items, which is a good sign. Okay, we're going to try and get level 6 right here. So I'm going to push forward. I'm going to make sure all of my Qs will stack. Uh, so I need 4 stacks here. I'm about to hit level 6. I'm going to beat him. This is where I win. If he walks closer to me, he will lose. Whatever. Okay. And yeah, we just keep going here. Yep. See? So all we paid attention to... 
Free skill of my life, I'll take that. So all I paid attention to was my level up timer. So I actually got level six and he was level five and I had the wave slow pushing into him and that's how I actually get a kill for myself. Really nice start actually. I certainly can't complain about that. Let's go ahead. We're gonna go into this one, this one. I can make my lane very easy. I definitely can make my lane very easy if I actually go into steel caps. That would actually block off a ton of damage. But what I want to try and accomplish is I want to go for Blade as fast as I can. The faster I can get it, the faster I outscale him. So we're taking a bit of a risk here, but I hope it's actually going to be worth. So we have a slightly more difficult time. Slightly. Hmm. Well, this should be a good one. Yep. That's really nice. That's just gonna help me get my Blade of the Rune King even faster. Pretty much anything to get my Blade faster, I will gladly take it. I can't really go for plates. Because Pantheon can press our top lane, and if I don't buy items... Then... He will come back and he will actually start beating me again. Because he will come back with more items, likely, because he's been pushing it out. If I stay, I'll have 80% HP, and I have no sustain yet. Now I do. I have actually bought my items now, so when I come back here, I'm stronger than him. So we're not, again, we're not going for plates. Going for plates is only important when you have the time to do it. Alright, let's see. We're 4 and 0. This guy is 0 and 3. We have a very... Very big advantage over him. We don't have Blade of the Rune King yet, but we do actually have a level lead into him. Level 7. He is level 6 right now. So that's a... Like a half... I think like a 70% lead. More than... Like, I think like 80. So again, I'm not looking for traits. He's got the 5 stacks. He's level 7. I'm level 7 too. The wave is also way more stacked. So I'm definitely not looking into fighting Pantheon at the moment. It's a very bad mistake if I do it. Nice. The wave is stacking pretty nicely. Hmm. Okay. We pretty much go in. And I guess we're not actually getting him. Oh, well, we do. That's a bit of a risk I took because the chance of him having W up is just super likely. Okay, again, I wish I could go for plate. I just cannot do it because he has teleport back. It's really annoying to play against the Pantheon in my opinion. Because getting plates is not an easy task because he always has TP and he always has ultimate. He always has a way of coming back to the lane and that's really frustrating. I just can't go for plates. It's actually impossible. But uh, no worries here. Ignite does actually win against Pantheon. So you do get kills on him. We have Warwick actually ready to go. Um, seems like he's going to be heading back. Doesn't seem to be interested. I, I think he's in there. Nice. He gets to cancel the cancel the backboard. So we have straight up item advantage right now. That's great. Now I'm just gonna slow push as slowly as I can. And we just wait patiently. Try and like uh, save up just a little bit of mana so I'm not using everything. The way full slow push, like extremely slow, which is okay for me. He will still be there, I think. I am not unfriendly. I am a warm and caring person. Hmm, I don't think he's going to reset. I don't think he has items to buy. 
Or maybe we can. I think he actually reset. Yes, he did. Yep, that's basically what I'm talking about. Welcome to Pantheon, where if you want to take a plate, you will just press R and then save his own lane. Unfortunately, that's the way it is. See if I can maybe rotate and help out the Warwick. I don't think I can make it. It's two seconds. Yeah, it's like outside range. And I actually needed my ult. The, the thing is, I wanted to use my entire combo on both of them, but I couldn't quite do it. Um... That's why I went for the Q first. It's not the most optimal way, but it's okay. I think I might shove this part out. All I care about is being able to buy more items because I got 1.5, actually 1.6. And we can actually try to go for plates because his TP is down and his ultimate is also down. There you go. That helps. Let's get that reset. So we're going to go into Steel Caps. Then we're going to be building into Trinity Force. Then Pantheon comes back, unfortunately. And now we go back. Okay, we got 2.1. <clears throat> nice. Uh, next item is going to be Trinity. Let's go for that. Alright, let's get back. So, funny enough, like, when you play Aurelia, it actually recommends you right now to go into Sundered Sky, which is, like, in case you're unaware, like, Sundered Sky is pretty much the item to go for on almost any top laner right now. This item is just OP. There's no avoiding it, but um, we're not building into Sunrod Sky. I'm actually going to build into Trinity Force. I really like Trinity when you uh, play with Blade of Throne King. Blade of Throne King plus Trinity combo is one of the best like builds you can run on Aurelia. I think that I, I think that Pantheon is likely to be rotating again. Okay, he's doing the same thing again. Yeah, that's basically Pantheon life. He will always do that, guys. There's not a time where he w wouldn't do that. Pantheon plays his TP and ult all day. It's extremely difficult to kill a Pantheon. Um, when he plays like this too, by the way. He's playing incredibly safe at the moment. Uh, so will push into me. I don't have vision on where Kane is, so we have to be a little, little bit careful about how we uh, play this part out. So as long as we don't see the Kane, we're not going to be playing too aggressive because he can't be top lane in any given moment. And it could be a really bad time. The wave is pushing into me because I dragged away from the brush at the very end. So Pantheon can't really play the game anymore. Nice, we just keep, sort of like maintain it the way it is. We have Warwick taking the camp too on the river, which is super nice. Oh, I think I can probably kill him. Oh. Very nice. We actually killed the Pantheon again. Now we just shuff this out completely. We nearly have Trinity Force. We're like halfway there. We got the Sheen attack speed. We got 1.2k. So we're getting this slowly. Take the tower away. Yes. 
And perhaps maybe we can also include the the wave before we actually go back. Because Kane is actually on dragon. Yeah, now we can go back. We'll just let him farm. I'm not going to be doing anything to stop him. And we got Trinity. So this is, in my opinion, like I always say the same thing. I'll just say it again. Like this is where the biggest power spike is of Arvelia. Um, Blade of the Rune King is power spike number one. And like Trinity Force is the secondary power spike. If you can get them both, you are pretty much at your strongest in the game. This is like the strongest part of the entire game. Anything you buy after this are great items, but doesn't give you the same power spike, if that makes sense. They only make you stronger. But this is the most exciting part of the entire game. For sure, in my opinion. <laughs> they thought they could tame our land. Uh, my teammates are getting wrecked a little bit. I'm not going to go for the tower. I'm just going to go for jungle camps. Very nice. I'm not interested in diving a Zoe. Necessarily. It's a bit of a risk, which I definitely don't want to take. And we got another jungle camp in my collection. I feel like we have a... Yep, there you go. So that's kind of the reason why I decided to like stack my Q on the jungle camp on the last second and then walking in the brush because I felt like Zoe was going to be moving top to mid. It's just how they path most people. So it's like often very predictable. Now let's go back here. So the next item we're going to go with is... Um, I think it's going to be a Wit's End, but it would also be a good idea to go Sundered Sky because that item is just broken. Really broken at the moment. I actually really like it at the moment. I think we're going to be do uh, going for it. There you go. So take the uh, ability haste because why not? Uh, quick question, wasn't the ultimate a bit much? Not really, because as you can see, she flashed away. Zoe has flash uh, by default, pretty much. And the ultimate from Aurelia is like 70, uh, 77 seconds anyway. So as you can see, we're walking back to lane. We have it back in like 20 seconds already. We are really not missing out on anything, in my opinion. Whoops, accidentally hit my Q twice in a row. Um, in case you guys are unaware, my keyboard is broken. And that could be the cause why my Q sometimes applies twice. My keyboard is broken. It, it often presses the same key twice in a row. It's been like that for years, so it's not something new. I bought it broken on release and I never returned it because... I need to return it all the way to the other side of the world because that's where I purchased it from. Uh, coming from a big sale. So I've been a bit lazy to ever fix my keyboard, but it's been broken for a really long time. So I'm, I'm quite used to it. Fortunately, I when I type, it, 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 it often uh, uses a key twice, but when I play League, I never have that issue. Only with Aurelia from time to time and some specific champions, but fortunately it doesn't affect my gameplay. Okay. I'm going to keep my ultimate right here. I'm just going to use my Q. There you go. I should really like consider like swapping my keyboard and buy a new one. But if I'm truly honest with you guys, I am so used to my keyboard that I don't want to swap keyboards anymore. It's, it's hard to explain really. I am really attached to staying with my setup as long as possible. I really don't like changing to a new mouse or changing to a new keyboard or even a headset or even a chair. I have a really hard time adapting. We 
when when something doesn't feel right or when something is off about the setup i feel like i'm gonna have to relearn the game again it, it's 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 a bit weird even just sitting at another table it just feels weird <laughs> i'm probably not the only guy who has this right yeah. especially changing keyboards i just i hate it Um, well, this is going to be a free kill. I love how he's trying to sidestep. Let's still apply this. He actually gets away here. I want to dive him, but I'm better off not doing it. The dragon is currently available. We're going to go and get that dragon real quick. Sell that stuff. Let's go for a Sundered Sky. Yep. That dragon should be secured. So the Pentheon has R. He will probably end up rotating with ult, but um, it's not a problem for us. Because I'm already here. If he rotates with ult, we will win. Doesn't seem to be rotating with ult. He just keeps pushing. Okay. I don't get to get more? Okay, my teammates are taking care of it. I didn't want to jump into like four people. It's not a good idea. Let's go back top lane. You guys saying that I should clean my keyboard? The thing is, my keyboard... Cleaning the keyboard for me is not the solution because I bought this keyboard fresh and new on release date. So like, on the very first day that I bought this keyboard specifically, I've already had the issue where I press a button and it actually goes off twice. Yeah, that's exactly what happened right there. But... I've had it for a really long time, and I bought this keyboard all the way from the United States. I live in Europe, like I can't send it back, so it's pretty much impossible. It was in sale in the United States, so I bought it from Europe all the way from <laughs> United States. Took weeks to get over here. So there's no way to return this thing. So I've had this thing, this problem for a while. That's that's partially the problem why I never returned it. <clears throat> I googled the stuff. I googled like, is this normal? And then it turns out when I search my keyboard and search the brand, in case you guys are wondering, it's a Razer. It turns out that like 40% of the people that have this keyboard have that issue. It's very weird. Lots of people that buy Razer keyboards, they have this problem and then they have to return it and then they get a new one and it happens again. I've seen it a lot. Oh, what? I don't get my tummy off. Oh, four people though. Okay. I actually nearly won that stuff. If I if I managed to hit my ultimate and hit like four people, I'd be able to stack my Q pretty much instant. And do so much damage, get multiple Q cancels. Or resets, I mean. That would have been absolutely awesome. What we can actually do, though, uh, in order to make this game more playable towards the late game, is we can build into Aesthetic Gauge. So we can probably do that. Or we can decide to go into Wit's End, but I think that Aesthetic Gauge is a more optimal, uh, more optimal choice right here. We actually have the Tenacity, which is super nice. Let's go ahead and do it. All right, let's go. I want to actually go bot lane, but I'm not going to do that. There has to be a fight on Baron soon. Hmm. 
Yeah, we should be looking for a fight here. Zed is actually going to bar lane. I actually wanted to be bar lane myself. Uh... Oh, right. Okay. I missed it straight up. Hmm. It's gonna be way too close. Hmm. What happened to my stun? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have no idea what happened to it. I would have to rewatch that part. It's just, uh, it's just gain so we can keep going. Nice. Okay, the next thing we're gonna have to go for is uh, the dragon. It's gonna come up in like 1.7. I mean, it's coming up in like five seconds. My bad. I won't say 1.7k gold that I had. My bad. But yeah, we we uh, we gotta be uh, gotta be getting the dragon. Now afterwards, we spend my gold because we have way too much. Wait. All right. Someone's gonna try and steal it. Doesn't seem like... Oh, okay. This is actually a, a fight that we can win. I'm probably gonna end up dying here. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, this is not very good. This is very bad. I'm, uh, I'm, a, I'm a bit impressed, honestly. I 100% thought, like, when we were in the fight right here, I wanted to jump across, then use my ultimate, and then burst everybody. But uh, Pantheon walked up, actually got to do a lot of damage. My whole team got wrecked, and then they chased me down. That's that's honestly surprising. I thought it was definitely a hard win right there. Not bad, bro. I think I'm going to go for a Guardian's Angel towards the end. I need the uh, GA. Baron is it. The Baron is the call right here. We need this thing. Preferably just going for another team fight. We'll do it. Hmm. This is the fact that Zed got deleted at the worst time ever. It's going to make the game a lot more difficult. As long as they don't know we're doing Baron, it's actually going to work. Seems like Zoe is actually in bot lane, so they don't know we're doing it. She would definitely be moving if they figured out about the Baron call. Very nice. I think I can keep going. Or not. She actually moved away, okay. Pantheon knows that we are rotating to top lane because there's actually a ward down here as soon as i walk back it's gonna show up all right dude personally it's not really a time for my teammates to get caught the entire time because we do have a nice late game I think I might actually pick up the blue. Oh, or never mind. I'll just take another wave. We'll see if it can split top and then go into a team fight. Nice. 
Uh, three people are, are in bot lane. Which is great, just MF is missing at the moment. But this will give me what I need here. Nice. I hope that my teammates will pressure the enemy team for a bit so I can actually do my part in top lane. Because they are going to chase me down for sure. I can see that. I guess I'm not getting more. No. I really need my team to do more though in moments like these when I kill like half of their team. Oh, I should have bought this item. My bad. Whatever. It's okay. Very nice. That's basically... Never mind. My whole team died. Last one. Hmm. I think we can keep going. It's just a Zeri, so... Oh, so that's the game we're playing. My E was on cooldown. Still. Hmm. She apparently still had the ultimate. This game is way more difficult than it should be. If we get this dragon, it will be an absolute game changer for the late game. But it's a, it's a tough one. Pantheon is about to get alive. TP. It's five against four. Maybe Warwick can magically like steal it somehow with ult. Yeah, great. Okay, that's exactly what we needed. You know, that's... <laughs> I, I know that my whole team is dead right now, but this is actually pretty good for us. I'm not going to lie. That dragon does make a big difference. It is not a bad dragon, actually. It's actually a really good one. Maybe MF can run up to me somehow? No. Okay. I need my teammates to come back. Guess I'll just force blue buff real quick so we can not do that next time. <laughs> we got blue. Okay, so we just need like five people to be in mid lane and then just force them. I think if it comes down to an actual team fight in mid lane, having so much space, so rather than being in the jungle, just be in mid lane, we actually get to win the team fight just because there's more space. And we can all in the better. But yeah, I do need my teammates to obviously move up here, help me out. I think I might just directly Q in and then charge my Qs that way. Oh. Well, not even close. I 
Seems quite winnable to me, actually. I don't know. It's just a Zoe. Yeah, the game is over pretty much. Yeah. GG. Hey, this is Arvelia Top Lane. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.